praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Lydia Thirirwe. I'm a mother and a grandmother. I thank God for my life. I thank God that he, he has taken me up to this age. I'm a retired civil servant. I worked with the government for about 32 years and I retired two years ago. So you can guess my age. Uh, so I thank God that I've been invited to, to share with you uh, what I've gone through in my life and uh, what compassion has done to me. Um, I'm a born again Christian. I was, I got born again in uh, 2003, November, and uh, it was, it was in a mission at the cathedral where I was, I had, I had already thought I was good. I grew up at church, but along the way I would, uh, Every time there is a mission at church, I would give, I would uh, answer an altar call. As a child, I grew up knowing there is salvation, and uh, but I was not there because when I grew up, I started praying for myself to get saved, which means, of course, I was a sinner and I kept praying to God to save me until. One time I got a vision in a dream, something very, very bright, like, like a fluorescent lamp came through the, from the east to, and passed above our house in the village and I was inside the house and I knew something was going to burn, it was going to burn the house. I did not I, I feared, I got scared. And of course, the dream passed, and the, even that lamp passed, and I saw it going to the west. But I sensed that there was some power that is coming into my life. The next day, I got an accident. A border border guy bumped into me as I was crossing the road, and uh, a car stopped on my head. And now I connected it to that, to that dream, but still I thought that was God speaking. And uh, at that time, it was in August, then I got to be saved, I received Jesus Christ in November. So from that period, I, I felt I needed Jesus Christ in my life. So I was at the cathedral and it was mission month then, I answered an altar call and I have not looked behind. So I thank God for that. Um, uh, then I joined Bible study. Now that one became my turning point and I've not looked behind. I've moved on, I've been, I've had fellowships with Bible study, I've trained some people and um, um, I, I felt very empowered by Bible study and it helped me to, to grow. The little that I've grown, it is just because of Bible study. Uh, so, I, I thank God that I joined Reza Chapel. Uh, the first, my first church was the Cathedral, the Ocean's Church, Nakasero. But the only fellowship I was in was Bible study. And uh, here I am, when we joined the Reza, we, we were the first people who had the chance of uh, bathing the, the chapel. But leaving that alone, I was... Uh, I was blessed to be a member of this of this of this chapel because there is love, there is warmth in this chapel. 
I thank God for the Compassion Ministry. I I first met them in a, during COVID time is when they started blessing us as a family. In compassion in in, in COVID time, I was surprised to see um, Madame Allen and uh, Mrs. Komire and and the head of lady fearlessly come to our home where my sister was so sick. She was bedridden, she couldn't get out of the house, but they brought us, they brought us uh, food, they brought us medicine, they brought us everything. We really thank God for their lives that they were never even infected. Even me, I took care of her and I never got infected. And that was so compassionate. I thank God for that. Um, then they never stopped. Af immediately after, my mother fell sick. And when she fell sick, they would, the church would come in, in, many, in many aspects. The church would come as compassion, as pastor care. They would come as women's ministry. And at compassion ministry and pastor care would come the reverend, reverend and chaplain and all the reverends here came to pray with us, with our mother. They would give us Holy Communion. They gave us, they gave us, they provided for us food. And even the members of, of this chapel are so compassionate. I thank them. Even when we lost our mom, they came and reached us. I remember at the mortuary, I met with about five women who had come to check on us, but they found our mom had passed. And there I, I, got, I, I got the warmth of the brethren at church. I thank God that I have such a, a, a community to live with, to laugh with, to fellowship with, to cry with. I have a shoulder to, to lean on. And uh, so this is uh, a, a testimony of, of glorifying God. I thank God for all that they have done for us. And I believe God is taking us to, a greater, to greater heights in compassion, ministry, and compassionate hearts from everyone, from all of us. We thank God.